Welcome to this jubilant edition of the Phil Taylor Jones Show. Yes, folks, I am quite pleased with the news that I received last evening and earlier on this morning. It kind of let me know that there is some common sense in the world, some stick to some diligence, people who can work together. Yes, we're going to be discussing in some detail the exiting of Britain from the European Union. I'm Phil Taylor Jones, your host, and welcome aboard. Yes, as Hannibal Smith of the classical um, action television series A Team would say, I love it when a plan comes together. It shows the resilience of people who are willing to stand and fight for what they believe in, to take the democratic process and make it work for the betterment of their nation. I applaud the British people. Good on you, mates. You did well. To Cameron, see you, Charlie. You were no good in the first place. You were Britain's version of O Bastard. So goodbye. And let the fine people of Britain um, with their queen make their people prosper and thrive. You see, I hope that this is going to be a wake-up call for every nation on this little green and blue planet we call Earth to stand and deliver in the face of adversity, to stand and deliver in the face of establishment politicians, to stand and deliver for what you know is right for your country and its people. Again, I applaud the Britain citizens for doing just that. You see, they, like us, were in a terrible, and possibly will be in a terrible a jam up for a little time to come, but with the country being under their control now, they can prosper. Angela Merkel and Frank Holland of respectively Germany and France have screwed up their countries by allowing or bowing to those special interests over there with all of these uh, refugees. It is proven time and time again it does not work, especially with these that are hooked up in this Islamic faith, if you can call it that. These people are not safe. These people are strange. And if you talk about the extremists ones, they are downright dangerous. You don't know who you're letting in your country the people of Great Britain come to realize that or came to realize that and did something about it within the democratic, democratic process. How wonderful it is when something like that happens. My wish is that um, these people here in America would do the same thing because we too have a fight on our hands. We've got a fight between total wrong and evil and something that could turn us around and make us prosper. Hey, I'm talking about the bitch, bitchery Clinton. And come to find out today, Bernie Sanders is a total idiot. He's going to vote for her. He's going to support her after she's kicked him in the teeth on several occasions. He's going to stay with the democratic idiot despite what they've done to him. People, we cannot sit idly by and allow this madness to continue. To put that bitch in office, bitchery Clinton, being the doomsday device, we can kiss our country goodbye. We better get smart like the Brits and take our country back. We better vote for someone who can help us on that path. And that's slimy 
guilt-ridden, crime spree, sleazy bitch is not going to do it. She is garbage. She is the, the, the most vile thing you can think of times one billion. To have something that like that in the White House leading us into disaster would be just that, disaster. You better wake up. Trump has a way of doing things that's mighty sweet. I know a lot of you don't like him, and I really don't care. I like him. He is like the British people. And a lot of the British people took their cues from him. You see, Mr. Cameron got up there and preached against Mr. Trump. Why? Because he was an establishment politician. He's one of the good old boys. It wants to keep all of those people in their crooked positions, in their corrupt positions, just like the ones here in the United States. So he's gone. I'm going to resign. And you're not playing the way I want to play. I'm going to resign. Well, goodbye, you bastard. Sorry you stayed so long. I hope that when we go to the polls or to the, the voting venues in November, that we can send old bastard and the bitch a clear statement that we don't want you or your brand of politics anymore. We're putting someone new in there, someone who has new ideas. That's the trouble with this country. We're so hung up in these stagnant and lackluster ways of doing things politically that we're in a rapid and in, 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 in horrid decline. Try something new. And that's what Trump brings to the table, something totally new. He does it his way. He doesn't follow the path of idiots. He says what's on his mind and what's on everybody's mind now is this immigration crap. Shouldn't even be on the table. Borders are there for a reason. Stay in your own damn country. Oh, I have a great dream. I want to be part of the dream. Well, dream in your country and make your dream come true there. Don't infiltrate or infest somebody else's and make that person's dream or that country's dream a nightmare. I am so proud of the British people. The Phil Taylor Jones Show stands with you on this triumphant day, on this glorious day that you take the first steps to take your country back, that you no longer have to follow the idiocy of Angela Merkel or Frank Holland or anybody else in the European Union that chooses to follow a path of idiocy and to the degradation of their nation. Americans, we need to follow their leader. Is it gonna be a pleasant road overnight? No. It's going to be hard. It's going to be rocky. But the British people have a resolve that is enviable. They will bounce back totally because they have that resilience. They have that air about them. They are deep in tradition. They believe in tradition. They, you know, honor their traditions, which is something American people, or some of them, don't seem to want to do anymore. They have fallen way to this acceptance of foreigners in our country that are here to destroy it. If not by some violent means, by an economic mean. It's not right, and it needs to stop. So, Europe no longer has the UK within its grasp. They can start to um, come to grips with what they need to do to either totally eradicate foreigners in their, on their shores and put their country back together, put their culture back to where it needs to be. Because under this Cameron guy and under Blair, it slipped. 
just like ours has slipped, slipped greatly. We need people in these positions that have fresh ideas and the moxie to put them into effect. Yeah, Trump has got a lot of guts. The things he said, the things that he wants to do, he knows is going to draw fire, has drawn fire, and will draw fire. But he keeps marching on. Why? Because he knows that if somebody doesn't step up to the challenge, our country will cease to exist. $20 trillion in debt, jobs leaving our shores, foreigners infiltrating and infesting our shores. We don't even know who we are as a people anymore. That needs to change. Making America great again? Yeah, I think that's a damn good slogan. The bitch, bitchery Clinton. Who? Oh, America has always been great. She's an idiot. She shouldn't be in jail, she should be under it. She should be under it so far that it would take 20 light years for her to see the light of day. She is a disgrace to humanity, let alone a disgrace to this nation. And to have something like that, a slithery, creepy piece of garbage, trash, well not trash, because trash isn't that bad, garbage, pure garbage, slimy, stinky, disgusting garbage, leading us She's a doomsday device. Nowhere should she be in politics. Nowhere should she be except under the jail. American people, let us be like our neighbors across the pond. And when it's time for us to step up to the plate, let us be able to do what the people of Great Britain have done, and that's liberate ourselves from idiocy, liberate ourselves from stupid politicians, liberate ourselves from an idiotic government who means us no good. Let us come together to save America. Zach, I know you've got some things to say, so take it away. All right, thank you. Very well articulated as usual. And I too, as you mentioned for me, am very proud of the Britons and what they've done for themselves. You know, it's a, a good thing they did. I kind of don't like the little cutesy names they give the, themselves, you know, Brexit and Bermain. That was insane. And Brexit, yeah. was, Brexit was bad enough. I, I wasn't paying too much attention to it, you know. And I was thinking Brexit was actually a place somewhere, which was, wasn't very smart of me. <laughs> I'll admit that, you know. Well, I'm not using my brain, I'll admit it, that didn't sound you know, very smart for me to think that. But then you pointed out yesterday, and that was something new, they had Brumain or Brexit, and that was crazy, you know. Um, speaking of the person, you know, the reason this all came to fruition is because of this David Cameron idiot in the, pers in the first place. You know, he doesn't have any kind of proper leadership, and he tries to feign leadership in this statement that he has um, from a Newsmax web website regarding uh, what's going on. He says, I will do everything I can as Prime Minister to steady the ship over the coming weeks and months, but I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain that steers the country to its next destination. You're the reason they're going to a next destination. You shouldn't have done what you did, letting all these damn races over there and getting people killed and everything. It's, it's ridiculous. He was never a good leader to begin with, like you said. You know. And uh, as far as bitchery for president, do you really want a murderer in there? And a lot of people that support her will say, well, she's not a murderer. Just because she didn't get indicted, prosecuted, put in jail, or whatever term terminology was used for, doesn't mean that she didn't actually do it. Just because someone isn't made guilty and punished for something doesn't mean that their, their actions didn't happen. It just means they got away with it. Those people, she knew what was happening. They asked her for support and for backup when they knew what the problem, the situation was getting worse, worse like the way it was. And she was 
she denied all their requests for help and she was laying there sleeping soundly while these people got killed. Mm -hmm. You know, and do you really want to murder her for present? Don't try to deny it because anybody that denies that is a damn idiot. You're, she's a damn murderer. And that's the worst thing you can be is a murderer taking someone's life. Four people are suffering and their families suffer because of, because of it up to this day. You know, um, you know, we need to do the same thing as Britain did, you know, because anyone that supports anyone but Trump obviously doesn't support Americans and want more Americans dead and more crime from well, from foreigners and, and more people dead from Muslims because everybody but him supports the other two people support having more of them come here following you know, Obaster's legacy. So a lot of people just must want the American America and Americans to be, you know, killed and murdered and raped and everything. You know, I don't understand why you want something like that. You just it, just like a horse with blinders on, you don't see the facts that are off to the sides of you, you just see the falsities in front of you. And you're just willing to believe that this, these people do no wrong. Even though you see people dying, you know, almost every month due to, you know, Islamic terrorism, radical Islamic terrorism. And that just doesn't make any sense to me how you can welcome something like that. And as far as I'm concerned, these British and Britain they just like the AAA advertising says, we, you know, uh, we don't set the bar, we are the bar. Mm -hmm. I think f with what they did with that vote, I think the vote was over 700,000 people wanted to leave compared to the other ones. That's how much, how many votes uh, made it past. Well, with doing that, you know, they, they set the bar for other people to try to take care of themselves. And I just hope that other nations, including ours, can try to reach at that bar that they just created. You know, they did a damn good thing. They're trying to do better for themselves for once. People need to be more like them, like they used to be back in the day with the Teamsters. People didn't take no mess. They wanted something done right, and they didn't feel they were being treated fairly. They fought against it, but now people are just too, you know, too foreign washed and too, too weak about stuff. They don't do like other nations do. One nation voted and got a president out of office. I forget what country that was, but... That's what we need to be like. Oh yeah, one of those uh, you got in uh, Central American country. Mm -hmm. We need to be more like that. You know, we need mm -hmm. to start getting balls of steel to quote Duke Nukem and fighting for our own rights instead of letting the government allegedly do it for us when you know they're not going to. Yeah, and that's all I have to say. Well, um, to echo your uh, statements, I think other nations within the European Union now will probably start following suit if their people are really, you know, sick of the way governments are being uh, run because of what's going on in the EU. I think they'll start exiting because, I hope they you start know, this, 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 this Muslim thing, they're supposed to be so loving and so kind. <laughs> and the extremists, if that's the case, then why aren't they extremely loving and kind? Mm -hmm. You know, you see a lot of stuff about these people, and it, it makes one look hawkishly, you know, because people in the normal world don't operate like that. And um, I've got a very interesting thing uh, from Churchill regarding Islam, and I'm going to put it uh, in the photo section of this show. So be very close, uh, pay very close attention to that and uh, see what you think of it, ladies and gentlemen. I thought it was very profound that, you know, a people that are subject to doing things that are out of the norm of the mainstream, do you really want to be bothered with those people in your country? Do you really want to rub shoulders with those people? There was a, a spokes hole on... Um, on the Britain, British side of the, the ticket yesterday, and she was talking about how wonderful the immigration progress or process was. That you could go to any uh, township or city or whatever in the UK and see how well it worked. And you know, her nose is constantly growing because you could tell she was lying. And you know, to put these foreigners in power in seats of authority when they're in your nation is lunacy. As I said before, they don't have your country's allegiance at heart. They don't care for your country's customs. 
They don't care about your country's heritage. They don't care about your country's bylaws or constitution or a bill of rights or whatever you govern your country by. They're just there as opportunists. And when you put them in these offices, they are going to take care of their own kind. And that is not what these things are for. You get into these positions, especially those where you know, you're, you're serving the public, and that's to serve the total public, not your constituency, or not your heritage, or not those who you want to serve. You serve the entire population. With these foreigners, the vast majority of them, it's not that way. Now, there are some that will get in office and, and really you know, speak for the people. And if they're one of those, then that's cool. But for the vast majority, uh-uh. And that's what Britain has done now. They said, we're going to stop this. It ends today. We're taking our country back. We're going to elect governors and, and, and people to govern our country the way we need them to govern it, not the way they want to. Not like these idiots that they have in, in all of these seats of government all around the world, but especially these here in the United States. These are some of the dumbest ass people I've ever seen in my life. And that's why I would push for every four years when we get a new president, we get a new everything. Clean the House. We get a new Supreme Court. We get a new Senate. We get a new House. We get a new president, vice president, everything new. Like I said, some of these people have been in these offices and have buried nine or ten presidents. They're in there with these archaic, antiquated ideas and philosophies. The United States has changed. And did you know that Eisenhower was out of office? Look at this idiot moonbeam that we got here, Jerry Brown. He's supposed to be down here in Los Angeles today touring. What, so that he can mess up Los Angeles even further. He's come up with this idea where these illegal foreigners, when you sign up to get a driver's license, you sign up to vote. Illegal foreigners shouldn't be here. He's giving them the vote. So if anything nasty comes out of this presidential election, this guy should be drugged, dragged out of the office of the, the, the state's capital and thrown in jail with the bitch. Bitchery Clinton. All of them. Look at this Loretta, Loretta Stench. Okay, now this guy, uh, Omar, um, what was his name? Uh, Mateen. Mateen. His wife was you know, kind of a co conspirator in this massacre that he did down there in Orlando. Guess what? She's come up missing. She's probably back over there in Muzzy Land somewhere at the hands of the greatest Muzzy supporter ever. O oh, bastard and Loretta Stinch. We need to get these deadheads out of office. We need to get these bastards out from around our necks like an albatross. We need to do what the people of Great Britain did so eloquently yesterday. We need to take our country back. We need to have America and Americans come first. Everything else is secondary. Until we can get to that point, until we realize that we all need to stick together as patriots and lovers of this land, we will always be a country divided. Thank you so much for joining the Phil Taylor Jones Show. We hope that you'll join us again real, real soon. Stay safe. Be happy and take care. Bye-bye.